background information yeah we may not understand it yes approximation we are not going to hold you to our approximation it means we are trying to deal with it we have been talking to the council of ministers of the university and we will make that statement so unless a matter is it's a lot of me me let me talk about it after after you after you know 45 days in jail or something Normally we don't give dates after 45 days to us. Anyway, you should understand me, Mark, I'm not here to have a couple of them. They come... It is something that will cost me like 30 minutes. It's a one page. I think it's a one page. It's a one page document. Yeah. Okay. So you have the rules. I have the rules. Nikona ya ko. Wow, kona. Seven days. 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 Bungela wana nchi? Guvu mashinani. Bungela wana nchi? Guvu mashinani. Thank you very much. My name is Comrade Bush. I'm the Attorney General and the custodian of legal instruments of Bungela wana nchi. So we have just emerged from a lengthy meeting with the judge hosted by the judges of the First Division of uh, East African Court of Justice and attended by the high-ranking officials of Bungela wana nchi to discuss pertinent issues relating to the case filed by Bungela Monainchi here at the East African Court of Justice, Arusha, that are key to ensure uh, administration of justice is achieved within uh, specific timelines. Uh, it is very clear from the discussion that we have had with the judges that there is this need to fast track the prosecution of the matter that is before this court, and uh, key issues have emerged from this meeting. Uh, that we wish to, uh, to tell the nation and the community at large. Number one, issue number one that has been discussed is compliance by the parties to the directions of the court. And in this regard, Bungela Monainchi has filed an affidavit of service to affirm that it is ready and, comp and compliant to the directions and orders of the court. And uh, we have 45 days that the judges have uh, clearly stated that the Republic of Kenya has to, com to file a substantive response to the allegations that have been uh, uh, put forward by Bungela Monainchi and uh, the first petitioner, the president of Bungela Monainchi, Francis Awino. Uh, regarding uh, uh, the state compliance, the Republic of Kenya, compliance with the orders and directions of the court, the judges have affirmed that they will exercise their jurisdiction appropriately and without prejudice and ensure, to ensure that the Republic of Kenya complies with the directions that the court has issued so that within 45 days it shall have put in a substantive uh, response to the allegations filed by Bungala Monenchi, failure to which they have equally stated that they are willing to assert necessary sanctions to ensure that the orders of the court are obeyed. Uh, secondly, we have also uh, put in uh, an application seeking to uh, introduce more evidence that we have received from parts uh, of uh, Gidurai, other evidence that we have received from Madare of forceful evictions. We have also put in an application to uh, introduce new evidence that we have received uh, from uh, Kiambio slums. All this strengthen our case, uh, uh, presenting a high level of possibility of convicting individuals who are accused of uh, command responsibility for the crimes that were perpetrated within the Republic of Kenya. Uh, we have also put in an application for the inductment of five individuals that we believe that uh, bear the greatest uh, responsibility so that they are uh, individually held culpable for the atrocities that were perpetrated against the people of Kenya. 
the individuals uh, we will mention for so that there's no doubt number one is William Ruto who is the president of the Republic of Kenya number two is the honorable uh, the honorable Rigadi Gashagwa the deputy president number three Jafet Kome former IG number four is Adamson Bungay the current uh, commander of police of Nairobi region and uh, honorable Kithure Kindiki so uh, we have told the court that there's need for these people to be indicted as soon as possible because there are ongoing spate of abductions and other criminal activities that are still being uh, uh, witnessed within the territory of the Republic of Kenya under their supervision. So we want them to be brought here as soon as possible so that even the witnesses and the evidence that is still uh, uh, you know, not collected is not interfered with. Because we are planning as Bungela Monainchi to go and meet the victim so that we can preserve the integrity of evidence that is still uh, on the ground. We wish to make it very clear and reassure the nation that the case that we have filed against the Republic of Kenya here at the East African Court of Justice is proceeding with flawless precision. And there is hope that when we invoke all the instruments within the domestic jurisdiction and regional jurisdiction, and if possible, we are ready to even invoke legal instruments at the international level to ensure that the culture of impunity the culture of those who hold political positions and perpetrate impunity uh, in a manner that they cannot be held accountable for their crime comes to an end here in Kenya. So as Mungela Manenji, we are optimistic that uh, within 45 days uh, we will look at what the Republic of Kenya shall have filed. But from what, uh, for as it stands now, all the response that we have, uh, that we anticipate that will be brought before this court will be based on falsehoods because we have collected primary evidence that implicates the Republic of Kenya directly plus the individuals whose names we have mentioned. So we hope that uh, the judges will convene as soon as possible so that the spate of abductions and forceful evictions that are still being witnessed in Kenya to date are brought to an end as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Bungela Monenchi. Bungela Monenchi. My name is Sara Francis Awino. I'm the current president of Bungela Monenchi. And at the same time, I'm the people's president in our Republic of Kenya. Um, we came here like um, two, three weeks ago. We filed our application. And we were given orders which we went to our, back to our country and served. And now the government uh, was given 45 days so that they can respond to our application. They have until uh, date 7, October, so that they can file in their response. I'm saddened today when I had news that um, one of the students' leaders uh, were arrested because of the planned demonstration, and Article 37 give us a right to do so. I'm saddened again after I heard that um, one of my friends, Bomb Jaggi, was arrested after trying to mobilize people so that they can collect signature to out our president, William Samoy Roto. And since we are in the court of justice, where we believe we shall, shall, we shall find justice, we even feel like we won't wait until October 7. We are going to file an application and a certificate of urgency so that we can get orders which will bar our government and our rogue police officers from violating our constitution. And we believe the way we came here at first and found justice through the first orders, we believe still we shall find justice towards the people that their rights are being violated. We believe we shall find an answer, and we have hope in this court. And as the saying says, that there, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. We, shall, we have already found our light here in this court, and we believe, the, we believe that those people who are, mom, who are murdered, those people who are forcefully evicted, those people who are forcefully arrested, it is the last time it is being done in Kenya. Because we believe we shall find orders which shall be abided by the people that are in power. 
And this thing that, that these people in Kenya usually do, that when you are in power, you feel you are like you are above the law. And this action, that you be, when you are the president of our country, Kenya, you cannot be taken to court because you enjoy that immunity. We are putting that to an end. And that's why we are saying, rather than you coming to Tanzania and remaining here, because we know in Tanzania there are courts, in Tanzania there are cells, in Tanzania there are jails. You can start negotiating right now. Because after 7th October, you won't be going back to Kenya. And you, we shall leave you here so that you can answer the crimes that you have committed. We are telling the people of our nation, we have hope. And we shall find justice here. We just want you to remain patient. When we come back to Kenya, we shall move around collecting other evidence that we need. And if you feel like you have anything, if you feel like you have anything that will help us in this court, if you feel like police, police violated your, your, your rights, and if any bullet passed to you, your body and you're struggling, we are asking for all those evidence so that in the other application that we shall be filing so that we can protect our constitution, you can be part of that evidence. Thank you very much. May God bless Kenya and may God bless all of us and may God bless Africa at, at large. Thank you. Bunge la mananchi. Guvu mashinani. Bunge la mananchi. Guvu mashinani. Asante. Mi naitwa Maurice Masiga, Deputy President Bunge la mananchi. Tuko katika hii kesi ili ambao tuleta hapa Arusha Mahakama ya East African Court. Vile AG alipokea zile summons tulimpelekea ndio tunaambia wale ambao wali participate katika kupiga watu risasi kwa hii demonstration bwana bwana e, bwana president of the republic of kenya deputy president na wengine wote na maskari wote ambao walipiga watu risasi tafadhali wajiandae kukuja hapa kujitetea vile walifanya hiyo maneno kule hapo kenya mpange kesi yenu mpange e, e, kila kitu yenu tukutane hapa Arusha kwa sababu hapa Arusha mambo yamechemuka na meli imengoa nanga wameangalia hiyo kesi ni wamesema muko na kesi ya kujibu na ndio maana tunasisitiza tafadhali vile sisi tumejipanga na watu wetu ambao ni mashahidi nyinyi pia pangeni kwa sababu muko na kesi ya kujibu tukirudi Kenya next time tukirudi hapa president na battalion yako yote tafadhali Mke, mke, mkijua mkikuja hapa either mtatoka ama hamtatoka na ndio maana tunasisitiza tunasema vile 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 muli mobilize jana kutafuta president wengine wa East Africa kutafuta kiti ya AU ndio the same same mobilize kuile outcome ya hii kesi itatoka kama itatoka tafadhali muji mobilize na mkuja mseme mmekubaliana na mahakama hakuna njia ingine hiyo ndio njia peke yake ya kusaidia wale victim na kukomesha hii tabia ya mtu akiwa kwa pawa yeye na watu wake wakiwa kwa pawa wanafanya nini ati wana, wanaangamiza wananchi na wanapiga watu risasi na wanaua watu na hamisha watu kwa manyumba zao na kuwabomolea na kufanya mambo mengine yote maovu tunakomesha hapo na ndio maana tunasema tunataka justice 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 justice